Hey students, welcome back. Today we're going to talk about the types of digital cameras available out there and we're going to talk a little bit about how to use them. Hopefully you've read the short article that was referenced just above this video. Uh, talks about different types of digital cameras. And within that article you learn that there's two main categories of digital cameras. SLR and non-SLR. This is an SLR camera right here. Okay. What is the word, what does those letters SLR really mean? They stand for single lens reflex. In a single lens reflex camera like this, the image comes into the main lens and then comes up into this area up in here where there's a series of mirrors. That image comes, bounces off the back, up, and into this viewfinder. So in a sense, there's only one lens on the camera. It's a single lens. And the lens that you're using to view the image here is the same lens that you're looking through when you look through this viewfinder back here or the LCD for that matter. There's only one lens on the camera. There's real advantages to that because what you see in the viewfinder is what you're actually going to get in your finished video. A non-SLR camera on the other hand such as this point and shoot camera here there's actually a little viewfinder lens up here that you're looking through but the picture is actually being taken with this lens here so there actually are two lenses there's not a single lens and that's what that means. So better cameras, more expensive cameras are SLR single lens reflex cameras. It's kind of interesting in these types of cameras if you take off the lens and you look in there, I said there was a series of mirrors, you can actually see the mirrors back in there and when you push the shutter that mirror pops up, gets out of the way um, for just a split, split second and that allows the image to be um, to be rendered on the um, image capture device on the back of the camera and then it pops back down so that you can see through the lens again. Single lens reflex, that's the reflex part. The reflex is when the camera uh, lenses or mirrors I should say pop up out of the way for just a millisecond so that the image can be recorded. So an SLR and a non-SLR camera. Alright, within that non-SLR camera type there are a variety of different cameras that you can choose from for example I have a camera right here right on my phone and it's amazing now because these cameras are getting to be quite sophisticated you can see here I'm looking at myself with my camera and um, if this is the only kind of camera you have for this class it'll work okay use what you have but I want you to learn a lot about your camera and figure out how to use it in other words come in and look at the options look at the settings look at the different modes available in your camera and learn how to use them don't just point and shoot with the standard automatic mode but learn how to use different modes even within this camera right here if I go into options and I come in here and um, look I can first of all zoom in there's a zoom feature that allows me to go uh, zoom into telephoto or to zoom away into more of a wide angle we're going to talk about that more and within the same camera I can also change the mode so that I can be for example whoop, turn this around I can actually use a portrait mode in this in this little simple camera on my telephone. And so for this first lesson we are going to be using uh, and making portraits and so you're going to want to find a portrait mode if you have one on your camera. Now say you have a bit more sophisticated camera, say you have something like this still considered a point and shoot non-SLR but there are more features if you look back into the menu uh, mode back in here in the camera, it's not even on, let me turn it on um, you have uh, menu items back here, uh, menu buttons usually that you can press and change different features on the camera. You can also, of course, access the dial, mode mode dial up here, which allows you to choose different modes. On this particular camera, I do have a portrait mode, and I have an outdoor mode, and I have a macro, which we'll talk about later, and we just have Often there's also just an auto mode that allows you to just let the camera make all the decisions for you. In this class we're going to try and get away from using auto mode and um, really try to explore the different features and controls and settings of our cameras so that we can learn how to be better photographers. In other words, we'll do the thinking instead of letting the camera do the thinking for us. That's where we want to go in this class. Now, if you have a nicer camera available to you, any kind of SLR, you'll definitely want to become familiar with the settings on that. It also has um, some kind of dial 
mode up here, mode dial up here that allows you to change from automatic to different modes, um, even a manual mode where you set everything yourself. And there will also be menu keys usually in the back, um, some kind of different controls. I can't, there's not enough time in this class to go through all the different cameras and all the different settings, so you're going to have to find the user's manual for your camera and look at it. And when I start to refer to different types of settings, then you need to find out how to make those settings and those changes on your own camera. Okay, because I can't I can't give all that information for every camera that's out there. But if you don't know where that manual is, find it on the website. Go to the manufacturer, download the user's manual for your camera. I'm sure it's out there somewhere. And just become really familiar with your camera, whatever type you have. All right, so um, that's a little bit about cameras, types of cameras, and how to become familiar with your camera. And um, in the next few lessons, we're going to be exploring these different features and using our cameras to take lots of great pictures. Our first unit is on portraits, and so you'll be taking lots of pictures of people. Let's get started.